you do not want to be doing swaps on Uniswap without knowing how much of the output token you'll get in return. In an illiquid pool, you could get a wildly different price on your 10th or 100th input token compared to the first. That's where Uniswap's quota contracts come into play. Get ready to learn the difference between Uniswap's quota and quota 2 contracts. They're similar, but they're different. Follow along or write code with me. Let's go. I already have a little project set up here. I will provide what is right here in the description to this video. In my package, I have all the main Uniswap packages installed. I am importing the artifacts for Quota and Quota 2. I'm importing Ethers.js. And then I have some contract addresses for wrapped Ether, USDC, Quota, and Quota 2. I also have an Infura URL here because I'm using Infura to make requests to the blockchain. This is a fake API key, so you'll have to get your own from Infura. Let's start by setting up a provider. And the provider takes the Infura URL. Now let's define the params that we'll be passing to both Quota and Quota 2's contracts. The token in will be wrapped Ether. The token out will be USDC. The fee tier of the pool will be 3000. The amount in will be 1 Ether. And here we're just converting that to way because that's what the contracts expect. And the square root price limit x96 will be zero. Since we're just doing a quote, not a swap, this is irrelevant. But this is here so that the function on the quarter contracts look like the functions on the swap router contracts. Now initialize both contracts, the quarter and quarter two. We'll copy and paste this and then modify it for quarter two. Now let's open up our main function. First we'll do quota and then we'll do quota two. And what we're going to be doing is calling quote exact input single on both. Now let's not waste any time and just call our function already. It returns one value out which is the amount that it is estimating you'll get out of the swap. We do quoter.callstatic, that's important, and then the name of the function we want to call. Now call static is important because it tells the contract to simulate your trade, not actually trade it. Without call static, the quoter will actually run your trade, which you do not want because the quoter is not an efficient contract. And here we just pass in our five arguments that we defined above, token in, token out. The fee, the amount in, and the square root price limit x96. And notice this takes five arguments, and this will be different from when we call quoter two. Now let's log the output. And USDC has six decimals, so we'll use format units to shift the decimal place six places to the left.
Now let's do quarter two. So first we'll build the params and this time we're going to build a params object. and pass that to the quarter two function. Calling the function is similar. We're still calling quote exact input single, which both contracts have, and we're still doing call static. But we pass in one object. It only takes one argument. Now let's print our output. And the output from quarter two is a more complicated object. It has a number of values inside. One of them is called amount out. One of them is the square root price x96 after, and this gives us an estimate of the pool's price after our swap, which can change depending on the liquidity of the pool and the size of your swap. And it's also possible to use this in estimating the price impact of a swap. Another output is the initialized ticks crossed, and this tells us the number of ticks crossed in the pool if the price moves. And lastly, we have the gas estimate, so an estimate of how much gas this swap is going to use. So I'm going to update my infer uh, URL to my real API key. I'm not going to show you that though because it's private, and we'll give this a run and see if I made any typos. And one more thing I want to do is just add two string to some of these values out of quarter two, because otherwise they'll be hex values and we won't be able to look at them and tell what they are. And two string is a function. Now let's run this. And here we can actually see the difference out. For our quota, we just got the amount of the output token that we would get back. For the quota 2 contract, we get that, but we also get the square root price x96 after, which can be converted into a ratio, but this is just the price value that is stored on the pool. We have initialized ticks crossed. We have the gas estimate, and that's all there is to it. Like and check out some of my other Uniswap videos if you want to learn more about Uniswap. I'll see you next time.